A couple of weeks ago, our local public television station started rebroadcasting the Civil War, one of the great uh, modern documentaries. Powerful piece of work, especially considering that there's really no movie footage from back then in the 1860s. It's all essentially still photographs with uh, voiceover narration. And yet it's still compelling. You still follow all the battles. It's very clear. And perhaps the most poignant and moving segment of all is the famous Sullivan Ballou letter. That is, of course, the letter written by a soldier, a volunteer soldier, Sullivan Ballou, written on July 14, 1861, to his wife. And adding extra uh, emotion to it is that it's set to the music of a song called Ashikan Farewell, and also that this soldier was killed a week after he wrote this letter. It's a gorgeously written letter that also delves into the impossible choice between your own life and the call of your country. Well, that said, I can only wonder if we finally do attack Iraq and go after Saddam Hussein, will the boys overseas be writing those kinds of letters, espousing those kinds of delicate thoughts? They probably will, but in a rather different way. As a public service, therefore, we actually have a simulated new version of that letter bringing home the cost of the next war, whatever and whenever that may be. And so, we bring you the Puff Sullivan letter, Dateline Baghdad, July 14th, 2003. Yo, Tanisha, what's up? This is Sullivan. Captain telling us we hauling ass tomorrow. That is up. Think he's so smart. If he wasn't white, he'd be shoveling onion rings at Popeyes. Ain't telling us where we're going. Ain't telling us what we're doing. We just be ready to kill or die. Yeah, the boys all be thrilled to hear that. If I gotta die in this hellhole, I'm taking some carpet riding, camel wiping, goat loving, towel headed sand monkey with me. And if the captain keep pissing me off, I gonna frag his ass too. You think George Bush knows what he's doing? I think he knows what he's doing. He just don't know what he's doing to us. Him and his oil. Oh, I know. They blew up the towers. Why can't we just drop a bomb on the whole Middle East? They all living in sand anyway. Drop a bomb on a hut. Three minutes later, new hut. No. They got to put me and my brothers here. Lay down my life for minimum wage and police brutality. Thank you, Martha. But enough about me. Denisha, I miss you. Remember that time we was on a picnic and you drank three bottles of malt liquor and threw up in the chicken? Damn, that was funny. You on my mind a lot over here. Ain't nothing to do here but play cards and do jumping jacks. I got sand in places even your mouth ain't being. But still, every time a breeze blows across the 250 degree llama roasted desert, I think of you, of our life together. If I done some stuff that wasn't right, well, I'm sorry. Like a time you were sleeping and I crazy glued your feet together because I thought you were seeing that fat Tyrone. (laughs) Damn, that was funny. But seriously, I'm being faithful. I hope you are too. If you're not, I'm going to come back as a ghost and tear you a new love box. Tell my little boy, if he is my little boy, that if I catch him smoking weed again, he's going to die before I do. I want him to have a chance. I want to be fighting for something. Chances are I'm going to live through this, so I don't know if I'll be the same. And if I die, I want a nice funeral with music and flowers and a big screen TV showing college basketball. Tell my son I believe in him. Tell my mama I love her. Tell my daddy he's a no good, drunk, lazy, lying, borderline, retarded piece of mouth doo-doo and if I could, I'd get my whole regiment to pop a cap in his face. Well, Tanisha, baby, I better say goodbye for now. But I'll be back. You see, I gonna be a hero. They gonna give me a parade and a pension and 80 acres and two mules. And I'll be singing America the Beautiful with J. Lo on one side and Vanessa Williams on the other. 
And when they ask what I done for my country, I say, come to my street. Look at that graffiti. Look at them crack files, them broken windows and empty stores. That's the war I'm fighting. Poverty is my terrorist. Glory hallelujah. Your man, Sullivan. Peace out.